Dr. Schieber, I have a bit of a funny question for you today. So the question is, will Jesus be the same Jesus of 2,000 years ago when he returns? Will he be riding on a donkey or a moped? Hmm. It's an interesting question, and questions like this are often uh, put uh, to us by, by followers of uh, Mirza Ghulam Ahmed, who um, uh, claim to be Jesus having returned. So in, in, in that case, the idea is that it's not the original Jesus who comes back physically into this world, but, but someone comes as his kind of shadow or representation. Uh, it, so, so it's a symbolic type of returning. It's not the actual original Jesus who is alive in heaven and then comes back down on, onto the earth. But of course, Muslims generally believe that uh, Jesus will return. Uh, it, and, and it's basically the same Jesus. But does that mean it's the same physical body? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, some Muslims uh, will accept that Jesus, uh, Jesus' physical body died and that he only remains spiritually al alive in, in heaven. So in that case, uh, when we take seriously the, the hadiths that say that he will descend from the heaven, will he descend with the original body? The answer has to be no, because that original body has rotted. And if one takes the view that he has, uh, his body died, uh, but in this case, God will have to recreate from, for him some new body that, that he will come back to the earth with. But we can say that this is something mysterious. Uh, when it is said in the Quran that an angel appeared as a human being, uh, like what, what about that physical body and what kind of a body it was it? Uh, and was it very similar to us that will cut and bleed? Um, so, so these are mysterious things. But we can say that uh, in, in about the moped part, <laughs> uh, that uh, we shouldn't imagine Jesus on whom be peace living a life uh, as he lived 2,000 years ago in Palestine using the kinds of utensils and instruments that were available at the time. Naturally, he would use modern facilities and modern technology. In fact, it, it is common among Muslims when you think about the Dajjal, the Antichrist, uh, and the mention of him by uh, traveling from one continent to another, being in one in the morning, another in the afternoon, that he must, uh, it must be the case that he will use modern means of, of transportation, which are very rapid. So if we think of that in the case of al-Masih al-Dajjal, the Antichrist, then it is easy to conceive of that in the case of Jesus as well, that he will use uh, modern technologies, unless he has some other angelic way of uh, um, moving from continent to continent to pursue this uh, Antichrist. Thank you for sharing your thoughts on this question, Dr. Shabir. You're welcome.